everyone, my name is MJ Vilches of Doodle Notes, and right now I'm gonna be sharing to you a new kind of tutorial that I'll also probably be gonna be doing in you know, a couple more in the future. And it's actually it, it, it's a tutorial involving you know the use of GIMP, and in this case we also use uh, Inkscape. Both, by the way, are free programs. You can download them for free. Uh, there's going to be a link in the description below. You know, I'm, I'm actually on a mission right now, and if you want to read more about that mission, uh, just click the link. I'm going to be providing a link in the description below talking about Operation Honor Tech. So yeah, I'm actually uh, on a mission to use only free programs. So yeah, this video and uh, the recent videos that I did are made entirely with free programs. E even the OS is free. I'm using a Ubuntu Studio OS. So yeah, um, yeah, this tutorial would actually, you know, this is a tutorial is actually for, you know, poor artists who doesn't have a tablet and you know, to create their, li their line arts, they need to like draw it on a piece of paper first and then scan it. But in my case, I actually, you know, I just actually took a picture of my drawing on the paper using my phone. My Samsung Galaxy Duos S2 phone. Um, I actually talked about that on the, you know, on the My Ultimate Gear vlog. You can watch it on the annotation that's going to come out. But yeah, I'm going to be using the drawing that I did on Harlequin Queenie for an art trade with cameras. Which you can watch also. I'm gonna be providing a link in the description. Yeah, I'm gonna use this drawing. I drew I draw this on a paper and then took a picture of it with my phone. And yeah, we're gonna enhance it so that it I you know I can it, we're gonna enhance this so that we can color it digitally. And you can actually watch a time lapse of a speed art video that I did coloring this thing. Color coloring Harlooney Queenie. And yeah, you can actually check out Camus' channel as well, Sika Studios channel. Um, that's where this you can see this character on its original form. This is actually my version for an art trade. But yeah, um, um, what I'm gonna do here, I'm just gonna edit it so that just to uh, edit it to just cropping out parts that I won't need and applying a threshold uh, uh, filter or you know just applying this threshold right here. And yeah, I actually draw this on paper, and already you can see that you know it's enhanced. But if you apply a threshold, you'll get that really jagged edges on the on the you know on the lines there. You don't want that. And actually, to fix that, all we need to do is apply the threshold modifier, and then we're gonna save this. Control by pressing Control Shift E, we're gonna save it as Harlooney line. We're gonna save it as a line as a thrust. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna rename it the threshold. To a raw line one. I'm gonna save it as a PNG and export. And then after saving it, we head over to to Inkscape. And then we are gonna be looking for that file. It's right here, raw line file, and then just drag and drag and drop it here on Inkscape. And what we're gonna do in Inkscape is actually this Inks in Inkscape in Inkscape is where we actually enhance the lines so that you know it won't look like this. So to do that, make sure that you select the image and then go here to object, um, no, not object, path, go to path and then select this, trace bitmap or press shift alt B. But yeah, go to path and then select trace bitmap and then you don't really have to change any of the settings, setting, um, you can, you know, if uh, you've applied threshold, I think the settings would work, you can just, you know, do that update. And I'm gonna press OK, and then very quickly it will kind of vectorize or like smoothen the you know smoothen the lines from your image. It's gonna create. Oh, uh, another thing by the way. Um, right, let's do that. Let's uh, Control Z that. Make sure that there's no other thing. But yeah, select the image path trace bitmap. Another thing you can do actually is remove. Check this. Remove background right here so that. The white parts are going to be removed, and the black parts are only going to be left out. And you're going to see that uh, very quickly right here. I'm just going to apply that. Uh, all I did is just trace bitmap, and then press and then enable this remove background, and then I'm going to press OK, and then very quickly it will do something. And right now, uh, right here, you can see that it's still jagged. But if you move one image, if you move this, we drag it and move one. You can actually see already that it has created another layer here with a smoother line smoother line 
And you can see, let's gonna just go closer here on the hair part right here. And you can see the difference. This is the generated one, the, the ones that's, uh, you know, a path that's been traced through using the bitmap. And you can see this is the threshold version from Blend, from GIMP. And this is the the version that we cleaned up here in Inkscape. And already, we can, actually, we can actually select that image right there and delete it. And then select here. And oh, you can see right there, that's the... Uh, you know, you can see that the background of this, this is just the line. It has no background. So you can already color that. Yeah, you're gonna, uh, yeah, that's it. That's how you clean up, that's how you enhance your line art drawn in paper. If you don't have a tablet and you're still drawing your artworks, this is the quickest way to clean up your lines. Actually, there's still like artifacts there. You can actually clean that up. Um, you know, if you, you, you can actually pretty much avoid that by giving your uh, for you know, if you have a cleaner image but yeah that's this is pretty much working already or you actually you just have to set threshold properly so that it won't you know this line this dot use you know spaces on the inside the lines here won't come out you just have to tweak that on the while applying the threshold but yeah already this is very useful next thing you gotta do is just you know uh, export it as a PNG sequence and we're gonna do that by pressing Control Shift E, the same as GIMP. Control Shift E, this um, menu will come out, and then make sure that you uh, from this export area right here. Make sure you press selection, and then you don't really have to change anything else. Just you know, select where you wanna export it. Select like the directory. In our case, we're gonna go and find huh, where. Um, this is gonna take a while. It uh, documents. It's right here on lots of folders it's right here on raw so yeah we're gonna save you can save that now as raw line F and as a PNG save it um, and then press export right here and that will export and we can close Inkscape now you don't have to save it and now we can actually drag and drop our raw line F here on GIMP or you can you know Close this, discard changes, drag and drop our line, and we have this. That is the result. And you can already, you know, give it color, do something, you know, yeah, this is just enhance, this is, this is it, enhancing the line in GIMP or and Inkscape. Yeah, you can already color it, and once again, you can watch me, watch a speed art of how I colored this in, in, in GIMP. Um, the annotation will come out, or just go to the link below but yeah this is how you enhance your line art if you're if you're like me who doesn't have a tablet and you know still uses the old method of drawing your drawing on a paper and a pencil and you know outlining it on a paper and then taking a picture of it or scanning it this method will work perfectly fine to like enhance that in that line right there but yeah that is all so yeah, thank you so much for watching the video again if you want to watch how I colored that line art that we just enhanced um, you can, you know, click that annotation right there, the upper video. And also, uh, if you want to watch other videos that I did, other tutorials, or other speed art, or, you know, just going to explore the channel, just click that annotation right there. The lower video. And, yeah, consider subscribing if you want to see more stuff like this, like this. If you have some stuff you want me to create a tutorial with, just comment them below. And yeah, explore my me social media media sites. You can follow me there on Facebook or Twitter or you know, Google Plus. And just explore my Doodle Notes, you know, my blog, you know, my blogger account, my blog, Doodle Notes blog at blogspot.com to get to know Doodle Notes more. And yeah, that is all. My name is MJ Vilches of Doodle Notes, bringing forth awesomeness to glorify the awesome. Over and out.